I'm honestly shocked that no one has asked me to play this yet. This is the T-18 E2 Boarhound, and it is probably the best vehicle in the US ground tree. That is not an exaggeration. And despite this, no one has asked me to play it. So I think people just kind of forgot it exists, which would make sense since I'd never see anyone playing it. It's not the fact that it's wheeled. It's actually incredibly slow for a wheeled vehicle. It mostly comes down to the gun. It has the American version of the 6-pounder, but it also has a stabilizer. So essentially, your cannon has more pen than the Sherman, with a faster fire rate, the same stabilizer, at a lower BR. It's just, it doesn't make any sense how this thing is still 3.0. And I'm not worried about it being up tiered if I make this video, because I use this at 5.7 and I still get a lot of kills. Pretty much every time you will shoot first, you'll go through what you're shooting at, and if you don't, you can just reload faster, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and despite being an armored car, it actually has somewhat decent armor, so autocannons can't pen you from the front. Bar none, it's one of my favorite vehicles in the game. It doesn't look like anyone has gone this way, surprisingly. And despite being a 57, the APHE will one-shot most of the time. Like, this- <laughs> the Boarhound has no downsides whatsoever. I mean, sure, it helps that you're fighting new players. Again, the whole punching toddlers thing, but... I mean, it's... Oh. Are we being bombed? Oh, they just tried to do a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, what? If there's one gripe I have with the Boarhound, it is that it is so ugly. Like, the turret looks okay, you know, it looks pretty nice. And the front is just... <laughs> it looks like a Cars character. Oh, another thing I just remembered, it actually gets a smoke mortar, unlike every other American tank that should. Like, people often say that American tanks didn't use them. They did. It's just that in 1945, they decided that they were gonna stop using them. And Gaijin just retroactively was like, oh, that means no tank can have it. Except for the M4A2 and M4A3105. But the 76s should have it as well. Oh my goodness, there's an onslaught of Crusaders here. My goodness, just the sheer number of <laughs> corpses in that area. <laughs> Spawn camp by Britain. George Washington is rolling in his grave right now. Man, can you stop being so upset? I could have killed that Valentine, too, if it weren't for that plane. Frankly, with how obscenely good the six-pounder is, they, uh, should have put it in everything. I think you should definitely base your, uh, military strategy off of how good things are in games. I mean, it's basically just a simulation, right? I would really hope that I wouldn't have to clarify that that's a joke, but with some people on YouTube. With YouTube comments, usually like the first five are pretty solid and like straightforward. And below that, it's just a mental asylum. Please move faster, I'm begging you. We are actually slower than T-95 right now. I saw that SDKFZ and I knew it had to go. Those things are so obscenely good. Oh my God. I just keep driving out in front of people, man. I need to stop doing that today. Whenever I get a big flank like this, a thousand miles away starts playing in my head, just the making my way downtown part. Oh my god, can you please stop? Why? Again? That's what you get. I never hit planes with tank shells anymore, and then I decide to record a bunch of gameplay videos at once and I get them back to back to back. 
does not make any sense to me. It's funny how low tier players will turn their turret to look at you, and I notice that people are doing it a lot with the Boarhound, probably because they have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cool arty kill. Who is doing that, man? I missed my four second reload rate. What? I desperately want my loader back. Or a non orange gunner. Oh my god, why that piece of rubble there, man? I could have lived if it weren't for that piece of rubble. Oh my god, man, my aim today is so atrocious. Actually embarrassing. Nobody look. Avert your eyes. Yep. Man, they are straight up in our spawn. Get out of here. Later. How is he not penning me? <laughs> Was he firing HE at me? Buddy. Yeah, it's generally not a good idea to stall in front of, uh... In front of SPAA. <laughs> there is no rhyme or reason to when the boar hound goes fast, I swear. Oh, great. I have an entire flank to myself yet again. I'm going to be greasy today. Well, when you got to cover an entire flank by yourself, you got to be scummy sometimes. Yep, they are uh, very unhappy with me. Oh my god, the turret traverse on this. Please. How? <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back up here. Yeah, the enemy team pretty much all left already, and I don't blame them. So yeah, that is the Boarhound experience. Oh my god, can you... Can you shut up? You're so loud. It's probably my favorite vehicle in the US tree. It's definitely way too strong. No doubt about that. If you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.